Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something that I wanted to show you I thought you'd be interested in, particularly if you work like we do on unimproved land, timber stand improvement, things like that on a homestead where you might need to move logs, pick up down trees, limbs, brush. It's a set of forks for your bucket. I'll show you this. Right here, I made a cut, and you can see the little cap that I welded on there. Down to here, right here, and then across there, you can see that. What I had, and I'll superimpose a picture here and let you see it, but I had a brace that came from there down to there, and then came back up to the end and capped over the tractor and went over to the other side. I really didn't need those, particularly since this lift was made for a 600 to 800 series tractor. It hit the end cap of the tractor right there, and sometimes it moved it so much that it would move the shroud here, the fan shroud, and my fan blade would get, my fan would get into it. And so I cut it off, but what I did was I took that material <laughs> and I cut it right here and bent it and made it 90 degrees. And then I took those four pieces that were right here, here and here and there, and I cut them off and you can see that I welded them across the bottom right here, two of them together, flipped one over and then brought it this way and this way. You can see that I welded, the, uh, that is three and a half foot of chain right there on that. And that is a foot and a half of chain. And I welded me a piece of metal right here on the top. I bent down the ends with a sledgehammer and welded them together. And so after I did all of that, making these runners that went up to the back, they go up under your bucket right here. They slide under there like that and that loop of chain is back there on the back and that other piece of rebar that's right there it butts up against the front end of the bucket right here right here and so the top right here this bow comes back here and butts back against this and so the uh, you'll see the picture here that I'll show you in a moment of it mounted. It will only go in so far and then it stops because this stops it on the front edge and this stops it on the top part of the bucket. And then whatever I, what I do to cinch it up is I use materials that I already had. I've got a, a chain tightener right there. And what I do is I loop this thing up right here this way around the back of the bucket and I pull this over the top and I cinch it together with that chain cinch right there and man it is tight and whenever it is that tight it won't go anywhere at all I have a 26 inch length of forks on each side and I'm going to use that to pick up logs and to move brush but mostly to pick up logs and move them out of the way up at Dogwood Trace so I thought you'd be interested in seeing that. I took that scrap material off the front of the tractor there and I repurposed it. The only thing I had to buy was the chain. And my goodness, it was $4.99 a foot. So by the time I finished, it was $27. I welded that all together with 70, 18 rods. And so it is super strong. And hopefully it will all hold together and I'll give you a video here in a short time here in the future of me using it out on the place.
Well, there you go. I hope that was helpful. Surplus materials, $27, as I said earlier. And we have a set of usable forks. If you have a question or a comment, please put it below and let us know. Uh, it helps our channel and it fuels the YouTube algorithm if you will hit the like button and if you will leave a comment. So we really would appreciate it. Thanks a million for tuning in. God bless you. Have a great day.